Welcome to my e-learning video. In this video, I'm going to teach you on how to process your pay bills in Emboss or Metrobank Business Online Solutions. To start with, we need the following processes in order for your pay bills will be working in Emboss. First, we need to enroll the merchants that you're going to pay their bills using Emboss. Second, approve the enrollment that you have requested in Emboss. Third, make a pay bill transaction. And fourth, authorize the pay bill transaction. One time process lang po tong enroll and approve for one particular merchant. And yung make and authorize pay bills, ay gagawin po to every time you process a pay bills transaction. Alam naman natin na mayroon tayong two types of user in Emboss. These are the system administrators and the transactional users. When we say system administrators, sila yung encoder and approver. While yung transactional users, sila yung maker and authorizer. Kung napansin nyo po yung slide ko, naka-arrange na po yung users kung ano po yung pwede niyang gagawin for payables to be working in Emboss. So for the enrollment and approval of merchant, I see system administrators and for making and authorizing payables, I see transactional users naman. Okay, let's start the first process, enrollment of merchant. Kindly log in as system admin encoder, then click this menu button, then click administration merchant enroll merchant dito po natin i-select yung merchant na gusto natin i-enroll or i-activate mayroon po tayong currency for this presentation we will select php for the merchant category let's just click the first category itong default and for the merchant Let's just select University of San Carlos. Baka mayroon kayong mga scholars na binabayara, binabayaran yung tuition fees nila, ipwede na po i-process sa inbox. Sa preferred nickname, free text po ito. So kahit anong label, ay pwede po niyong gagawin. Lagyan na lang natin to ng tuition fees for scholars. Then, dito sa link corporate groups, i-link lang po natin sa user group na pwedeng mag-process ng payment for tuition fees and University of San Carlos. Kung gusto nyo more than one merchant in one process, pwede po ninyong i-click itong save and clear. But, for this presentation, let's just select save then save again then if you if you confirm that this transaction is correct kindly click this submit button and mayroon po mayroon pong mag pop up na message na merchant has been submitted for approval ibig sabihin po successful na po yung enrollment request natin now let's proceed with the next process, which is the approval of enrollment. Kindly log in as system admin approver. Once log in, sa task list panel, mayroon na pong nakalista na task na approve merchants. Just click this label and then put a check mark on the enrollment request. And then click the approve button and then submit then mag pop up po yung message na enrollment has been approved this means that the merchant university of san carlos has been successfully enrolled and we can start paying the tuition fees for the scholars tapos na po tayo sa enrollment of merchant and approval of enrollment we are now ready to make a payable transaction. 
kindly login as transactional user na maker. Once login, kindly click this menu button. Then, select payments and transfers. Then, pay bills. Please take note that we can only pay those merchants that were enrolled or activated by the system administrator. So in this case, University of San Carlos lang po ang pwede nating bayaran. Okay, let's start the transaction. Let's just assume na babayaran natin yung one whole semester ng scholar natin. Let's include the amount of 56,000. Then, choose the debit account with enough balance. Please select the merchant category, which is yung default. Then, arrow down this pay this merchant box. Nandito yung nag-iisang merchant ng, na University of San Carlos. Then, ilagay po natin yung student ID number dito sa subscriber number. Let's just take the student number of my scholar. Mm -hmm. Pwede po kayong mag-create ng creditable withholding tax dito sa CWT. But for school, it's tax exempt. So no need for CWT. So proceed na lang po tayo dito sa remarks. Lagyan na lang natin ng remarks na first semester tuition fees of Miss Y. Mm -hmm. Mayroon po tayong pagpilian na payment schedule. Pwedeng immediate, future dated, iset mo lang yung date kung kailan mo gusto i-post yung payment. And recurring, kung gusto po ninyong bayaran yung tuition fee daily, weekly or monthly for this presentation let's just select immediate para hindi natatawag yung scholar ko mm -hmm. click lang po natin tong next step then if you confirm na this transaction is correct you may click this submit button but before clicking the submit button it's better to click first this Save Template button. Para sa next semester po, kung magbabayad po kayo ng tuition fee sa school, i-retrieve lang po natin yung template para hindi na po kayo mag-re-encode ng subscriber number. Papalitan lang po natin yung amount if necessary. Lagyan lang po natin ng name itong template. Scholar number one. Don't worry, I will show you later on how to retrieve the templates. Okay, let's click the submit button. So, mag pop up po yung message na pay bills is for authorization. Parang may mali yung grammar eh. Never mind. Ibig sabihin po, ito ay pwede na po ninyong ipa-authorize ni authorizer yung peoples ninyo. So, mag-login na po si authorizer. Once login, dito sa task list, mayroon pong pending task na peoples. I-click lang po natin to, Then, put a check mark on the transaction or click yung transaction number for more details to view like the remarks. And then, Click the button, Authorize, then Submit. Then, mag-pop up yung message na transaction was successful. Hindi ko lang i-click itong Submit sa ngayon para hindi ma-process ma itong transaction na ito. Hindi pa naman tumawag si Miss Y. <clears throat> okay, tapos na tayo sa presentation. But wait. There is more. I remember, mag-demo pa pala ko kung paano mag-retrieve ng template. Okay. 
mag-login lang po kayo as transactional user maker. Click this menu button. Then, payments and transfers. Then, payables. Then, click this copy from existing template button. And, nandito sa baba, yung template na na-save natin kanina. Just click this template and ma-retrieve yung buong transaction na ginawa nyo dati. We are good to go. Tapos na po tayo sa process yung enrollment of merchant, approval of enrollment, make a payable transaction, and authorize the payable transaction. This means you already know how to process your payables in Emboss. By the way, mayroon akong inilagay na link sa baba ng YouTube channel name ko. Pakiclick lang po yon para may download po ninyo yung buong user guide sa lahat ng services of Emboss. Dito po nagtatapos yung video presentation ko. At this point, I'm going to end this video presentation by saying thank you very much for watching and I hope mayroon po kayong natutunan sa video ko. If not too much to ask, please like my video and click the subscribe and bell button below para makakareceive po kayo ng notification for my next video. Thank you very much and ingat po kayo.